Okay, this is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. This video here, I'm going to talk about army worms in a food plot. If you're in southern states, um, here obviously in Arkansas, um, but they've come in here in this food plot and they're they're just about to destroy it. And I'll show you here in just a second. I'll I'll show you the food plot here a little bit. But what it is is it's a moth. It's the caterpillar stage of a moth, and there's just uh, swarms of them. It looks like to the average person. When I first seen it Sunday, it looked like the deer were really hitting it heavy, um, but that's not the case. I mean, the deer are feeding in here, but these army worms have got in here and they're, they will literally destroy this food plot. There's, in this food plot, there is Australian winter peas, there's uh, Elbon rye, which is a cereal rye, and there's uh, oats. Um, and they're eating the Elbon rye and the oats like really bad, and they're not eating the uh, winter peas as much um, so I'm, I've, I've got some spray mixed up I'm fixing to spray this thing but I just want to share this video with you in case you, you run into this on your food plot because they will literally wipe the food plot out I luckily I caught them Sunday uh, and I come I hunted here Sunday evening um, on this food plot because it was raining and everything but I'm, I'm making another video on that here after a while um, from a hunting plan but anyways they I hunted here Sunday evening and I noticed and I loved, I thought the deer were really hitting it good. And then I come back yesterday, which was Wednesday, and I, I looked at it and I was like, that just doesn't look like, it doesn't look like deer browse because deer will, will nip it off and leave it, you know, an inch tall or whatever. And they're eating it to the dirt. Um, so I'm going to pan the video here and show you what it looks like and I'll show you uh, some of them up close. Okay, so if you look here at this food plot, um, you can see the Australian winter peas. They're fine. But if you if you notice here, right here, is the rye and oats. They're not hitting this too bad, but they have literally cleaned that out. And I'm going to show you up this food plot. This food plot's about three quarters of an acre. If you see here, the food plot's doing fine. They're, what they're doing, they're, they're moving their way up the food plot. Um, up at the top up here, you see my, that's my wife's stand there. Um, Sorry, the auto zoom's on. It's, I'm recording this on my iPhone, so anyways, I didn't bring my camera with me, but um, the iPhones do a really good job recording. So, But up at the top is like this, like this right in here, or maybe even a little worse. So they're hitting here, they're hitting up there, but I'm fixing to spray this thing and get it uh, treated. But you see here, um, here, the, the rye and the oats are, you know, I mean, they're 12 inches tall. Um, so you can see this. And then if you, if you follow it down down here. So I'm going to show you what they look like here real quick in case some of you guys uh, run into this same problem. Um, because it looks like heavy deer prowls, but they're fast. I mean, they are fast. They've done this in about three days to this food plot. Um, so here's some right here. Um, right here's one crawling. Let's see if I can get him up here find him in the camera I don't know where he's at he's right there he is right there's one crawling if you see him right there that's that's an army worm right here um, and there's just there's just bunches of them um, I mean there's literally there was one there's one right here on the plant he's eating that he's fixing to have a bad day there's so there's one here and they say they're okay as long as you don't get more than about three per per square foot so there's one here okay you see my hand this is the size of my hand my hands are about six seven inches okay so there's one right here there's one here and there's one here and that's in about a six and there's one here and there's one here so there's one two three, four, five in about a six inch square. Um, and they're literally just eating the heck out of this food plot. Uh, and it, as I can, you may not be able to see them as good on the camera as I can, but like I can look out here and there's, I can just see them just all up through here. Um, you know, they're just, they're just everywhere. You know, here's, I took a few steps over here. Um, there's one here. Um, 
it's kind of cool right now so I think they're not as active um, here's one here eating he's right there you can see him um, you know so there's one right there and there's one here I mean they're like three inches apart so about every three to four inches there's a there's one of these worms eating uh, this food plot up so you see it um, here and I'll just slowly pan up here as you can really see that they've they've destroyed part of this food plot but if you don't do something about it if you don't spray it they'll literally destroy your entire food plot so um, the best thing to do is go to your 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 local co-op or something if you have the problem ask them what you can treat it with get it and do it within a day or two i noticed this last night i knew it was army worms looked them up um and i got down here as soon as possible it just got done raining so i'm going to spray this thing it's not supposed to rain for several days um so i'm fixing to spray it and get rid of them but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video here i hope it helps you out if you got food plots uh stuff like this is something if you're going to have food plots because this particular food plot has about $75 maybe $100 in seed in it it's got about $100 in fertilizer so taxes and all I've got $250 or so tied up in this food plot just this year okay um, and it's you know for for some bugs just to eat the whole thing up would be insane so anyways i'm fixing to have another thirty dollars for you know spray on it um, but i fixed to get this thing sprayed and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it helps you out if you have um you know a food plot and you're you're taking care of it and you see the same problem because if it looks like it looks like just just heavy heavy browsing but the thing is if you really walk around they're eating this thing to the dirt i mean they're eating the entire thing plumb to the dirt so anyways hope you guys enjoyed it Hope it helps you out. Uh, check out DeerHuntingSchool.com for more tips, information, things like that on deer hunting. Have a good day and bye-bye.